what we are learn and you know what we are done yesterday and what kind of you know difficulties we are facing to do that anybody one by one no more silence hello hello yeah so what we are done yesterday anybody can tell me I think nobody's, you know, remember that what we have done. Uh, we have done uh, LOD calculations. Okay. Then, uh, fixed fixed LOD. Okay. Include LOD or exclude LOD. Okay. And actually, uh, I didn't look like uh, because of I had a fever. That's okay. why I didn't. And a lot of people, there are not a lot of candidates. They are asking the question regarding yesterday formulas, right? So what you haven't confused that yesterday formulas? Tell me. Uh, which one? Yesterday formulas. Okay, okay, one, one. I have to open my tab. Here. Now I will one by we, one recall that I will be recall one by one. So what we are done yesterday. So we done the lookup function. Again we done the window function. Yeah. Again we done the running sum. We are doing the window function and running sum. What makes me difference in the window function and running sum? Window function it's only calculate past month or current months in a current month or next month. In. If you go to the running sum, it will calculate entire from January to December sales. Right? This is the difference between window function and running sum. There are three types of LODs calculation. One is fixed LOD, second is include LOD, third is exclude LOD. Now we we learn that how to work on fixed LOD. What we do that, you know, we we look into that furniture by sales, means that mean category by sales. We work on that, we fixing the category by sum of sales. We get to know with the help of Excel LOD how to fix any category or subcategory or segment. We can show with respect to any category, we can we can show the sales or profit or whichever the measure. Now uh, we learn the latest purchase date. How to work on the latest purchase rate? How to find it? Suppose you know we have tons of customers are there, and in that customers, which customer is purchased latest date? You no, know, which customer purchased that which date? I want you know I can showcase each and everything. So with the help of Excel LOD, we can you know uh, we can find out which customer I want, we can target that, you know, which customer, you know, more purchase and which customer is when purchase and which customer, how many, how much amount is purchasing highest to the lowest. We can target that each and every customer with the help of fixed value. After this is a main important thing, lot of, you know, uh, students, candidates, they're asking about the end to reloading. So anybody tell me that, how I find it, how I find it in the average sale per region. Anybody? Anybody can answer me what is the average sale per region? I study only, I teach that, right? How to find average sale per region? We will drag the sales. No, no, show the, show front of everyone, right? Okay. No, I'll stop my sharing. Just share your screen and uh, no, do one thing. How I find it, you know, uh, what is the average sale per ratio? Meanwhile, a lot of, you know, yesterday what we had done, right? Everybody is confused on include LOD. If I'm right, 
please confirm me. Please confirm everyone. Is it visible? Yeah, it is visible. Lovely, Ganesh, Lucia, Nervous. Everybody is, uh, understand what we are done in uh, include LOD. Because I'm getting notifications that, you know, I haven't understand about include LOD, about the formulas and everything. Lovely, are you done with that? You understand? Nervous, Onward, Ganesh, Bhumika. Bhumika. You understand? Yes, it's okay. Bhumika, I'm asking you. Okay. Sibani, Virinaka, again Rishi. Is it correct? Is it? Okay. Reason, sum of sales. We will select the average and now. Show the numbers, right? Okay, numbers. Show the numbers and you know, do some do some bottling effect. Again, show the lowest to the highest or highest to the lowest. You know, it's okay, it's okay. And again, remove the, you know, uh, Average sales only showcase, you know, what is important. What are you removing? No. Okay, now I understand it. Okay, that's fine. You understand. Uh, uh, do one more thing. Yes. The second question, which is I'm going to ask, right? Which is nothing but average sale per customer per region. Average sales per customer per region. Yeah. Okay. This is per customer. Uh, by customer name or customer ID, we can. Okay. You customer do name. I will tell you. Region customer. Again. Um, is it yeah, correct? No. If, is it visible? Yeah, visible, visible. Yeah. Add sales, right? Average sales. Add a sales. Okay. Is it correct, everyone? Please tell me. Onward, it is correct. Everyone is forgot. I think is it every sales? Everyone is forgot. Everyone is everyone is just enjoying the life only, huh? <laughs> not focusing yeah. anything about learning. We are focusing, say. Then tell me what is going on this. You're doing a right or wrong. I asked the question, right? What okay. is the average sale per customer per region? Per customer per region. Per region. I think 
Okay, okay. Uh, okay, I will tell you. Remove the customer name first. Okay. Now, uh, do for the, you know, bar to column. Which one? Bar to column. Just, you need to revert this. Bar to column. Okay. Why are you doing that? <laughs> then that, that's fine. Yeah. Uh, this uh, after the sorting, after the sorting, right. there is, is there, right? Sorry, I'm not getting. Okay, don't for, okay, forget this. Now, what I ask the question, what is the average sale per, per customer per region, right? You know, that's okay. why I'm asking, what do you learn in an include LOD? A region? Sales. Okay. Here. I have to get the list. Again, the county labels. Reason sales. Now standard to the interview. Now, what is my question? What is the average sale per customer per region when I'm learning about this include LOD? Okay. In when I so we can add without adding the customer name itself either row or column we can show that how to show we can go the screen is not visible actually. just one second i forgot that just one second now now okay region Region, sales, Uh, the next your voice is not audible actually. Yeah, just press wait, press wait. Okay. I'm doing right. So okay. now you're getting anything recalling purpose, understanding something what we are doing. Now you tell me what is the formula, what we are doing that. Customer name. In some of sales. Now this is the answer of the, you know, average sale per customer per region. Average sale per customer per region. We want to be, you know, this number is correctly or not. How to verify that? Can you please tell me, Lovely? Yesterday you done right. This central number, I want to verify that. Now I have said right. You know, um, what is average sale per customer per region? So, so this is the average sale per customer per region for central 796.9. If you go just add region customer name. Concepts. Now go to analysis, go to total, show add all subtotals. Again, go to analysis, go to total, total solve using average. Again, come down. If you see, 
here 1007 is showing for the east again for central A797 showing. Go to the sales. Again, go to the format. Go to the number. Go to the custom. Click on this automatic. Now remove this. The central region is showing 796.9. Again, go to the sheet. 796.9. For a central region, 796.9. Just one second, 796.9. If you see, even, yes. even uh, I can verify that each customer, how many sales, average sales has been done. You know, this each customer name, if, it, if you see customer name is Sushan, is living in a central region, and his average sales is 15.6. Now we understand, right? Yes. How to work on that? It's just for the recording purpose what we had done yesterday. I am hundred percent sure that a lot of people, they know uh, almost they forgot that what we are learned formulas. Just for the recording purpose, I am doing everything. So don't think about the waste of time. I am trying to be recalling everything what we had learned yesterday. Yeah, you're right. Actually, I didn't any practice. That's why actually yeah. I forgot uh, that. Meanwhile, we'll try to do the practice. And uh, now I'm going to the next. Next is nothing but, you know. Just I'm sharing my screen. Give me one minute. Now. Now we are working on the excluded loading. Now we're done with the included loading. Now we are working on exclude LOD. Suppose uh, I want to exclude either segment or subcategory. As image, you are seeing that you know category is a category, subcategory, segment has been added, and sales also added. Now sales has been showing with respect to segment, right? Sales has been showing with respect to segment. What if sales has been showing with respect to subcategory? We can do it with the help of exclude LOD function. OK. Suppose. Now. When I'm you no. Know, go to the category. Now category with respect to sales has been showing. Again, go to subcategory. Now, sales has been showing with respect to subcategory. Again, drag segment. Now, sales has been showing with respect to segment. What if the sales it will be shown with respect to subcategory? With respect to subcategory. So it is possible. Go to analysis. Create calculation field and write exclude. Okay. Now, what is the exclude LED formula? Now, it is very important when you're working on, you know, any LOD function. What is the important thing in a curly bracket? Curly bracket, uh, no? Starting curly bracket and closing curly bracket. So before going to mentioning, you know, working on LOD function, right? If you're creating on any LOD function, right? It is it is very important to, you know, curly bracket it. If you miss any curly bracket, right? It's showing calculation errors. Now I mentioned exclude. Okay, I mentioned exclude. What I want to exclude the part. I want to exclude the part segment. Now, single and mark. Now, you want to be exclude the segment, but you what you want to be showcased with respect to sum of sales, or sum of profit, or sum of discount. 
no i want to showcase with respect to sum of sets now calculate now sales calculation contain series right somebody is adding just one second now if you see the calculation content is valued what the mistake has been done if you see go to the back there is a two exclude one is the major which is already created we don't want to see that we want function exclude now what do you want to exclude i want to exclude the segment and what do you want to be showcased with respect to sum of sets if you see now click on apply click on okay drag into drop your row again so this is on continuous i want to change into discrete again go to the format go to numbers go to the custom decimal places are to right i don't want to showcase decimal Again, negative values should be automatic. It's very important. If you want to, if you want to, an alignment should be central. If you go with central, again, you can do do coloring part as well. Now, is I want to be you know showcasing you know, big sizes. Now, perfectly showing right. Is nothing but Control Shift B. when you enter control shift b right it will zoom in the part okay now the numbers are showing with respect to segment or sub category can you confirm me i'm just want to confirm the numbers i will add one more sheet sub category sales and what is showing that For the book cases, one lakh fourteen thousand eight hundred eighty. Both the book cases, one lakh fourteen thousand eight eighty. Is it correct? Yes. Yes. What if yes. I want to? What if I want to exclude the you know uh, sub category itself, and I want to showcase the you no know, sales with respect to category. is it possible yes it is possible just go to the here edit that what we done exclude segment right remove the segment what now what do you want to be exclude i want to exclude sub category then mention sub category now you are going to the exclude sub category now sum of sales right let's see what result will happen click on apply click on okay now this exclude lod function is showing 391049 is it with with respect to showing numbers anybody can guess this hello the numbers the with respect to showing that For a furniture, ah, uh, for extra value function. Let's say suppose verify, remove sub category, mention category. Seven lakh forty two thousand. Let's see what values is been showing. Let's suppose go to the analysis. Total. Add all sub total. the numbers which respect to is showing anybody idea is that any idea about that what i'm doing now uh, no no okay that's fine Okay. 
now we understand, right? Okay, remove the everything. I think, you know, we have a excluded subcategory, right? Let's suppose I mentioned the segment. Suppose, let's suppose I mentioned segment itself. Now, click on apply. Click on OK. The numbers with respect to what you showing that? Anybody guesses? The numbers with respect to showing that. I think tot total total furniture or uh, let's like suppose you want right? the total itself, right? Let's suppose remove the total itself. Now, if you see that I remove the top total. Now the numbers, if you go with that, you know, okay, remove everything. Okay, now add again sales. Okay, now the now again I want to remove this. Okay, now add subcategory as well. Now the sales has been showing with respect to segment, right? Where is my function? Here is my excluded function. Go to it. So suppose when I added here segment, click on apply, click on okay. Then dry here. Now you understand that this exclude LOD is showing with respect to sales, with respect to category or subcategory. Let's suppose remove this, add subcategory. For the bookcases, the bookcases is asking, let's suppose 1 lakh 14,000, right? 1 lakh 14,000 is that mean with the help of XQLD, right? We can show with respect to we want. Now, XQLD, what, what, what they are doing is removing that part as well. Now, what you said for the XQLD, don't show the sales with respect to segment, show respective subcategory. Okay. Yes. Okay. Now, you understand, right? How to work on XQLD. Now going to the next part. This is I want to showcase with respect to subcategory wise sales. Now subcategory wise sales. Again, subcategory wise sales. The numbers are same. You can go and check that as well. Now going to the second talk. When I'm talking about the table calculation, there are a lot of functions out there about table calculation. Table calculation is the third most important type of calculation. So we are going to learn about table calculation. You know, first of all, we you know we learn about ranking function, how to work on rank function, and how table calculation it will helps to you uh, give a ranking with the help of fraction of seconds. Let's suppose accessories, appliance, art, binders, bookcases. Now, anybody tell me what if for the you know label, how much it is rank? Where is the rank? It is difficult to find me what is the label rank. Because you know, when I'm going to present my you know my even my report or dashboard, it is very hard to difficult to me if anybody asks that, hey Dinesh, what is the label ranking? And what is the rank of sales for the label? I want to check that either is a second rank, either fifth rank or 10th rank. It is hard to difficult to tell that. But with the help of table calculation, we can go with the easily fraction of second. If we hear what kind of options we are getting, anybody can read that? Show future, apply to worksheets, two marks. Includes in two tip dimension attributes measure discrete continuous edit shelf edit table calculation 
Okay, thanks for the you know, uh, reading for the all the filters. Whenever I'm telling that, please read everyone. Why I'm telling you should remember that what kind of options we have. Now we have options for the filter, show filter, apply to worksheets. But what we need, we need quick table calculation. In that quick table calculation, a lot of an options are there. A run total difference, percentage difference, percent of total. But what I want, I want rank function. I want to give ranking for the you know subcategories. Click on the rank. Again, click on the highest to the lowest. If you want to the highest, lowest to the highest, it will be go. Now, what is my top three rank subcategories? It is nothing but phone, chair, storage. What if anybody asks that what are the top five categories? Phone, chair, storage, table, binders. With the help of fraction of five second, I found out what are the my top three categories. What are the my top five categories? It is very important when you you know working on calculation. You should understand that for the normal calculation and table calculation, there is a, a lot of difference. When I'm going to my PPT, if you see when you add it into the table calculation, right? Then it show delta icon. Delta icon is that mean it's showing this icon. If you look into that, you know, I will you know maximize the size. I will zoom it. Now if you see, there is a delta icon is there. Whenever you add it into the table calculation, it shows delta icon. If you see here, have no. The red arrow is there, right? Yes. Yeah. Now go to the tableau. Now we are added to tableau calculation, right? Here is showing delta icon. If you see. Here, here. Yes. So yes. make sure if you're working on the, you know, table calculation, it will show this icon. This icon itself, you should be understand. This is a norm. This is a not a normal calculation. This is a table calculation. OK. 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 Now we are going to the next part. Now, what if table calculation calculate the percentage? Is that mean? Suppose I have a lot of products are there. I have a lot of products are there. I, I want to know that Therefore, um, I want to know that how much they are contributing in selling. Suppose there are my top five products. They are contributing 30 to 40 percent in my sales. I want to know, right? If you are a business person, you should know that what is your top three categories because they adding a lot of sales big advantage, right? So it is very important. We should know that what are the you know, top three categories is are giving you know top impression for the customers. Let's see. Go to the subcategory. Now we understand that ranking function. Let's see how much the percentage it will be giving. Now go to the quick table calculation. Now we're getting a rank. Person moving average, percentage of total, percentage of difference, difference, or in total. What we need to choose? We need to choose percentage of total. Now, if you see again, go to the analysis, go to the total. What we want? Show column grand total. Now, I can tell you. There are my top two subcategories. It will contribute 30 percent of my sale. That is nothing but own chairs. If you see that the data, it gives you perfect answer within a two minutes or fraction of seconds. If you calculate that 14 percent, 14 percent, 9 percent, it will give 100 percent. 
I can tell you there are my top two or top three products. They will can they will now contribute my 40% of my sale. There is nothing but porn chairs storage. How the data is showcasing? Is it good or is it how it showcasing? The data it should be going to be very much more accuracy. With the fraction of second, you can understand that what are the business insights are there. Understand, right? What I'm telling? Yes. Okay, we are going yes. to the next part. We are going to the next part. What if you know? Uh, now, if we see the table calculation, I want to know the difference in sale and difference in percent. So when I'm talking about difference in sale, difference in person, it is you know very important that as you know, if you're working in any business, you should you should understand that what difference in sale. How to find it that you know difference in sale? Let's suppose I remove the subcategory. Now profit remove sales. Now just mention order date. Where is order date? Year only. Now click to the entire to the fit height. Again, no entire view. Let's suppose you know fit weight itself. Now, if anybody can tell me where is the sales decline or sales is going very high or how is going that? Or a profit. Let's suppose that you know the profit are increasing. Okay, I will tell you that you know. Let's suppose you know. Better what you do now? We will choose sales as well. First, which we first we choose sales, then go into the profit. Now, control shift B. Now, two thousand fourteen sales. How much is that? Tell me. Tell me, please. Talk something. Four lakhs eighty-four thousand two hundred forty-seven. What is the sales for two thousand fifteen? Four lakhs seventy thousand five hundred thirty-three. If you keen observer, what happened in two thousand fourteen and two thousand fifteen? Anybody can tell me what happened in that? In that, what happened in two thousand fourteen? Sales dropped. Sales okay. dropped from 2014 to 15. Yeah, sales has been dropped, right? Yes. What if I will tell you how much numbers sales has been dropped? How to find it? Simple. Go to the sum of sales. Go to quick table calculation. Go to difference. Then it will showcase the difference. Let's suppose you add sales here again. Okay. Now I just go to the format. Oh yeah, custom. Remove the fraction values. Automatic. Remove that. Now, 2014 sales are four lakh eighty-four thousand. 2050 for like 17,000. How much the difference? Difference you are going to calculate minus 13,000 difference. Let's open the calculation. Where is my calculator? Now after opening the calculator, 4 lakh 84 to 4 7. Let's minus. 2015 sales are four lakh seventeen, right? Four lakh seventeen. Five double three. Is it showing correctly or wrong? Correct. Correct. Because of round of function, it will be adding one yeah. extra. Now, with the help of this function, 
where you can easily understand that how much sales has been dropped by how much amount. Is it right or wrong? Right. Now I got it. <laughs> you got it right? Yes. Now, if you see to the 2015 2016, there is a sales has been increased by 138,000. Again, 2016 to 2017, there are sales has been increased by 124,000. Only 2015, there was a loss has been raised by that. Okay, the loss has been increased in 2015. Is I think but minus 13,715. Now you understand, right? How to because you know if you make it to create in a sales difference, right? That will be great and great impact. Suppose, suppose in 2014, 2014, you are working in any business, is creating 10 lakh profit. Suddenly, 2014, 2015, right? They have sales has been decreased. Again, go to 2016, right? The sales has been again has been decreased. Then there was the you know red indicator is that the company is going to be lost. And the company is going to suffer a lot of losses. So make sure it should be covered. Make sure that how to cover the losses and how to showcase that what is the difference of the loss amount. As a in as a BI developer or W developer, what we are doing? We are showcasing the reports to the business persons hey you can see that there is a lot of difference in amount in a sales we are getting a lot of loss amount in the last year if you check that and uh, try to be recall this amount or else if you suffer a lot of losses okay i'm understand yeah. or I'm audible perfectly. Anybody response, please. Now yes, yes. going to the next part. Sorry, I went covered one more thing. Yes. Sorry. Now let's suppose a lot of business people, they are not okay with the, you know, what amount you show it. Suppose, you know, I'm working with my client. The client is nothing but Samsung client. And he's saying, hey Dinesh, the numbers is good only. But don't showcase the numbers because that is going to be negative impact with my other other stakeholders or other persons. So don't want I don't want to be showcase the numbers. Showcase the percentage. How much percentage has been declined, or how much the percentage has been taken a growth path? So show in the percentage. Don't show the numbers. If we show the numbers right, it will take a negative impact on my stakeholders. So kindly please understand. So I so I so I said, don't worry about this. I will showcase the numbers and percentage. I you don't need to worry about that. You know, right click, put table calculation. Anybody one by one, what kind of options we are getting? Tell me. Running total, difference, percentage difference, percentage of total, rank. Percentile, moving average, YTD total, compound growth rate, year over year growth, and YTD growth. Okay, that's great to hear you. Now what we are going YTD? to. What is YTD? YTD is nothing but year to date. Okay, okay. okay. Year to date. Okay. Now, if you see year over year growth, year to date growth, year to date total moving average, a lot of options are there. Now, as per my requirement, I want to select percent difference. If you see, I can tell the Samsung company, we have a minus 2% decline for the 2015, but don't need to worry. When come to 2016, you have very good sales. A 30 percent has been increased. But make sure you should be continue the same sales. If you work on 2016 like same, right? But again, decrease the sale of 2017. It should be 20 percent. Almost 10 percent sales has been decreased in 2016 to 2017. 
So I would like to recommend you go for the 30% average sales or at least go for the 30 to 40 percent. Don't go with the less than 30. It will affect your business. I can tell like that. How is the good? Is the presentation is good or wrong? Is the presentation is good or any anything kind of insights has been showcased or not? Anybody can tell me. Anybody can tell me. I'm audible. Sorry, could you please repeat that? OK, I will tell again the replay. Now I already informed that I uh, am having my, uh, I, as an example. I already informed that you're right as a Samsung company is a client is telling the percentage don't showcasing the numbers itself. So I say don't worry. I can showcase the percentage. Now I am giving the presentation with the Samsung company. I'm telling the Samsung company AI. So can you please check that the you know on 2015 you have a minus 2 person or minus 3% sales has been declined. When come to 2016, you have achieved the highest sales of 29% is nothing but 30% sale. But you haven't continued the sales. The sales again, the uh, sales again decrease that. If you go to 2017, it is decreased by 20, 10%. Now 2017 is 20% sales only. I would like to recommend you you know, maintain 30% average sales. It will not be impact, not big losses. Again, you know, don't go with the again less than 30%. It will be business will be profitable as well and business will be more healthy. How is it my presentation? Hello, I'm audible. Sorry. Yeah, sorry, but I, yeah. I I'm don't telling. have any idea. <laughs> okay, I'm just telling that examples. Okay, you should understand that I'm telling each and every example. Suppose getting a client, this like suppose getting a one, suppose getting any kind of client, they will ask you to showcase the different sales in a percentage. You should answer like that. I'm telling. Okay. Till you understand or anything, any persons apart from the you know you, any others you have understand what I'm telling right now. Yeah, we're saying that uh -huh. the, client, the client can decide whether he yeah. wants to show numbers or in percentage. Yeah, so what I'm giving the examples as well, where you can understand the you know how to go with that. Nobody persons can give examples to work on that. Examples why I'm giving click to the mind where you can easily remember with the help of examples. I think a lot of people they haven't understood my example. As per now, my now I understand that. Yeah. No, no, I understand that you haven't understood anything. <laughs> no, 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 it's not. No, I understand. Now that. I got it. No, I, I got it. What you got it? I understand what you got it. Now go to the year. Table calculation. Running total. Now anybody tell me what is running total? The simple example. Uh, what, what is the running total? We already learned, right? The running total. We already learned. It continuously. OK, let's suppose remove everything. So let's suppose, you know, 2014 to 2017. Yeah. Speak it loudly. I can understand that. Cumulative total. OK, that's great. You understand right perfectly. <laughs> Thank you so much to giving in the best example for me. <laughs> what if you know? The product names are there. Let's suppose I want to go to smaller control B. Now. Sales into the text. Go here. The table calculation. Now you tell me what option I want to choose, which option I want to choose. 
Hello. Which Hello. option I want to choose? Running total. Okay. With the help of running total, I can total sale is two lakh. Sorry, sorry, two not is a two lakh. It is a twenty lakhs, twenty nine thousand. No, no, no. It is the two crore twenty nine lakhs seven thousand two hundred and one. Is that mean the company is when you started? Tell me. The company is when you started. The company started on two thousand fourteen. On the starting date, how much you done the sale? It done the sale almost two crore sale. Almost, you know, if you see that double two nine seven two zero one. Yes. What is this meaning that you know is nothing but cumulative sum or earning sum? Is adding each sales from the 2014? Let's suppose I will add subtotal as well. Now I want to see that you know what are the sales has been done for total 2014. Track, 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 track. Now slowly. How much the sales has been done for the 2014? Oh, Yeah. Hello. Hello. Okay. Now we can see that you know on the perspective with respect to you, which you are you want, we can choose and you can check the sales. At the end of the day, the sales is done like you know two crore twenty nine lakhs seven thousand two hundred one when company has been started from starting date to right now 2017 this many sales has been done of the company with the help of a running sum now i understand that how to yes. go with the running sum yes okay now we have other functions are there if we go to that quick table calculation done with running total difference percentage of difference if you go to the percent of total, we also done that. Rank function done that. Percentile, it will give the percentage of the each and everything. If you give, go that, you know, from the 2017, it will 100%, right? It will say the contribution of every, every percentage. If you see, each and every product. Again, go to click. Go to the, you know, quick table calculation. Done with the total, done with the difference, done with the percentage of difference, done the total again, percentage of total, rank, percentile. We can go with the moving average, click on that. We can check that what is the moving average as well. There were 2017, the moving average is 6,4318. We can tell that you have an average, say, average, you know, product sales is 6,4318. 318 for 2017. This is an average sales for the product, each and every product. We can go with the average. If you go that, if you see that, you know, if you see Xerox for nine, they have an average sales very high, sir. 296, 209. We can target more customers. Again, right click, go to the quick table, uh, go to the, you know, quick table calculation. Done with the all. Again, go to the compound growth rate. It will showcase in the everything, each and every details. How much growth has been done, and what is the you know less uh, sales has been done? It will showcase in the minus. The difference it will be showing on the year to year. Again, go to the quick table calculation, year over year growth. He will tell you, uh, on the 2016 how much growth has been done. He will tell everything.
if you see there is showing total 29 percent if you see is that mean out of 100 person in 2016 30 percent of my sales has been increased if you see total 30% I get a growth rate of my sales. If you see. Again. You know, if you, you remove this. Remove some of sales. Again, uh, no, this profit you can include that. Now you can go with the option. Quick table calculation. Compound growth rate. If you see there was continuous growth rate 24%, 28%, 23%. Does that mean we are continuous on growth on year to year? The profit percentage we are not decrease that. Just uh, just OK with that 4% list and 4% add again, again 5% list. Apart from that, we are continuous on the same path itself. If you see 15, 16, 17. We are, is that mean the company is Achieving maximum growth is 30 percent, not more than that. Right? Right or wrong? Hello? Right. If you go to yes. year to year, yeah, if you go to the year to year growth, when I'm talking about year growth, and in 2015 we have 25 percent growth, 2016 32 percent. Only 2017 they were declined by you now 15 percentage of growth rate. So we can tell that on the last year we have a decline growth rate. Check on the products why you have a decline that check on the profits why you have a decline that. Now you understand that how to work on quick table calculations. OK. Yes. yes. Now, uh, now it's very important going to the table calculation. When come to the important part of table calculation. It's not more than more than important. Now I will mention some kind of specific important points to showcase in front of you. Now uh, there is a table calculation. Is it? Is that mean the arrow is showing right? If suppose this arrow is showing like table, is that mean table across? It going horizontally. If you come down, it's mean table down. These two arrows is very important before going to table calculation. I'm right or wrong. So what is I'm table right. across? So table across it going the you know straight way. Again, if you go to the table down, it going to downside. Now uh, we have some type. We have a calculation types are there. What we are learned just now. We have learned percentage difference, percentage from percentage of total rank percentile. Run total moving calculation. We all things we just learn now. Now what we are going to learn now? We are going to learn now difference from. So we understand about calculation type. We understand that what is across. Across is nothing but going to straight, and again table down is nothing but going down side. Now we have a relative to. We are talking about relative to. We have three options. Previous next first last let's talk let's talk about the more deeply in the relative to why i'm explaining this all important concepts because when you use it when you go to table when you go to table calculation these are very important aspects if you haven't understand anything about this then you haven't understand about the table calculation itself now we are going to the across function let's go to the tableau now let's add the category here. Let's category remains in. Now, what if you know clear table calculation? Is it? Clear everything table calculation. Now, now I am telling about table related to across. Okay. 
just a right click. What we getting in options? It is a quick table calculation we done, right? Again, there's a delta icon is there, which is, I already explained that. This is nothing but add into the table calculation. This is the main option to add the table calculation. Click on that. Now, as I, as of, I just I mentioned that, you know, year only table calculation, this everything about table across, table down, calculation type relatives. If you see that difference from again, the compute using table across, table down, table across, then down, table down, then across, table cell specific dimension. So today I am going to explain about table across. Now I am telling about this right relative to. If you see that, revise next, first, last. Now what about the previous? If you go with the previous, it's showcasing some kind of numbers. If you see, if you see that, if I go to edit, go to edit table calculation, I choose table across, I choose difference from, again, relatives to previous, again, the show calculation is nothing but it's showing in a yellow color. If we remove this, I haven't showed. If you click on that, it showcases the, you know, everything. Now I just remove this. Now you can ask me how the numbers is been showing that I haven't understand anything about the numbers is showing that. What if it, what about the tableau across? Tableau across it's showing the, this way. If it, this way. Better understanding, I'll create it for the one chart. You can easily understand that. Now, what I've added into the same thing which is added here. Let me see. Furniture office technology grand total. For the your convenience, I just into the, you know, I zoom itself. Now you can ask that how the numbers it will be showing that. When I'm talking about here, edit table calculation, what we have to choose, tell me. We have to choose previous option, okay? Yeah. So in that previous option, what is I mentioned that in the previous option calculation, the calculation is done like that 2014 minus 2013. Is that mean B minus A? If you go here, 2014 minus 2013, is there any values out there? No, no, there is a no values, then there is a no values, it will be shown. Let's suppose going to the next. 2015 to 2014, 2015 to 2014, B minus A, right? 2015 to 2014, it will showcasing the values. Let's open the calculation. Now again, I open one more sheet, you know, for the better your convenience. Again, I add furniture. Where is the category? Again, I add the category. Again, I add order date as well. Again, add sales as well. Why I'm doing, I will tell you everything. Just zoom that. Control shift P. Aren't you supposed to use profit, not sales? Yeah, you can just remove this. You can add the profit. Simple. We can also same thing you can apply is that. Let's suppose I added profit, right? Let's do profit as well. Don't choose some of sales, right? Let's go with the profit as well. Again, what I mentioned that, you know, here for the relatives to previous. Previous is nothing but, you know, 2014 minus 2013. Because of we don't have a data here, is not is showing nothing, right? If you see into that, there is a no data of 2013, then how it showcase the numbers? It not be showcased, right? Then going to the next, 2015 minus 2014. 2015 minus 2014. Let's go to the creating the calculator. Let's suppose, you know, so what, what is the 2015 minus 2014? Tell me. 
What is showing? Minus 2443. Is it correctly showing? Go here. Check that. Is it correctly showing? If you see minus 2443. Yes. Again, go to the table calculation. Again, go to the sheet 14. Let's suppose now go to now. Now we are done with that. You know, 2015 to 2014, right? Now what if 2016 minus 2015? Let's six nine six zero minus three zero one five. What is showcasing that? The number is showcasing me. 3945. Is it for the which year? Tell me. Is it for the which year? 2016. 2016. Not 2016. Is it for showcasing which? Okay, so in showcasing 2016. Mm -hmm. Perfect. You observing, right? Yes. Oh, that's great to hear you. Now, what is 2017 minus 2017. Now you calculate me how much amount we will get on 2017. Minus 3942. Yeah. Minus 3942. That's great to hear. You are perfect. Great. Now same thing is applicable for the office supplies as well. Again, same thing is applicable for technology as well. How I calculated for furniture. Now you get to know that how Tableau across function it works, right? Right or wrong? Yes. Yes. Now, you know, I mean, you know, Tableau across function is nothing but B minus A. If you see that B minus A, I'm telling about B minus A, is that, is that me? 2004, 2013 minus 2014, 2014 minus 2015, 2015 minus 2016. If I mentioned perfectly. Now, what if I mentioned next? Go to the calculation. Edit table calculation. Now we understand about the previous. What if I mention for the next? Now I clearly tell you what is the next. Next is nothing but current year with next year. Is that me? 2014 minus 2015. Again, 2015 minus 2016. Again, 2016 minus 2017. Now, why is it value is showing? Because we don't have values for 2018, right? If you go here, my 2014 minus 2015 for relative to the next is nothing but A minus B means current year minus next year. Again, current year minus next year. Is that me? 2014 to 2015, 2015 to 2016, 2016 to 2017, 2017 to 2018. Now, here 2018 data we don't have. That's why numbers are not showcasing. Let's suppose I'm going to calculate this. As per you have mentioned that the data it should be 2014 minus 2015, right? Again, it is nothing but 5458 minus 3015. It is nothing but 2443. Is it currently showing or wrong? Correct. 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 Now, again, go to the next. Go to the calculation. I mentioned that 2015 minus 
again you know what is 3015 minus 669960 is doing minus 3945. Let's suppose go to the check. It's correctly showing minus 3945. Let's suppose what if go to the calculation. Let's suppose what if 2016 minus 2017 mentioned 6960 minus 3018. Is it showing 3942? Perfect 3942. Again, go to the next year 3018. But after 2000, data is not there, right? Then how oh, it shows the numbers. As per my calculation, 2017 minus 2018, but we don't have data, then how oh, is it showcasing the numbers? No, it's not possible. It will not showcasing the numbers. Simple. Now you understand here, if you go to the, you know, irritable calculation, we're done with the revise, done with the next. What is the meaning of first? I will tell you what is the meaning of first. If you go here, 2014 minus 14, again, 2015 minus 2014, again, 2016 minus 2014, again, 2017 minus 2014. If you observe keenly, then is it going direct in every time? 2014 minus 2015, 2014 minus 2016, 2014 minus 2017. The means the deduction difference is going to showing for the one year for this only, not showing other the year. That is nothing but first option. If you see, I choose first option. That's why <coughs> let's go tap. Let's go to the calculation. What is the value for the first? It is nothing but five four five eight. Again, let's see. You know. Let's see. 5458 minus 5458. I am getting 0. So, yeah, it is doing 0. Correct. Again, go here. Seat 4. Now, 3015 minus 2014. 3015. Yeah. Tell me. It is minus 2443. Is it correct? Again, go here. Create calculation. Now, 2016 minus 2014, 6960 minus 5458. Is it 1502? Is it correct? Correct. Go, sir, go for that. Again, create one more calculation. Now, 2017 minus 2014, is it mean 3018 minus 5458? Is it showing minus two double four zero? Minus two double four zero. What mistake has happened? Wrong. The next sheet. Yeah. Okay, so okay, okay. Three thousand eighteen. Yeah. Let's suppose you know again mistake is happening. Because your guy is not responding correctly. That's why I'm doing mistakes. Now again go for the table calculation. Now, 3018 minus what is the option? Is it 5458? Is it showing that correctly? Is it showing correctly or wrong? Perfectly or yes, right or wrong? Correct. 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 Now you understand that is nothing but. 2014 minus 2015, 2014 minus 2016, 2014 minus 2017. Is it first? The same thing is going to calculate when using irritable calculation. You choose last. Now you tell me what is happening there. Now you tell me. I'm not going to tell anything. Simple there. Now how the first thing is work out, right? The same is going to the last thing. Yeah, relate to uh, related to last. Tell me what is last? Even I'm showcasing last. my. Huh? 
Yes. Even I'm focusing my relative to the last only. Now you tell me that, you know, how we it going to calculate. Share your screen and tell me. Or else tell me here only. I will tell you. Is it fine? Yes. Or, else, or else you will try. <laughs> you now, on the, OK, I will tell you. Don't worry. Listen. Uh, now, what, what is getting now first option? First is nothing but 2014 minus 2015. 2014 minus 2016. 2014 minus 2017. The same thing for the last. 2017 minus 2016. Let's go into the create my calculation. Where is my calculator? Now, if I mention the, if I go here, now where is my calcium? 3018 minus 3018. Because we are choosing last. That's where we're getting zero. Now, 3018. Minus six nine six zero. We are getting minus three nine four two. Is it correctly showing? Correct. Or wrong? Yeah. How is it correct? Tell me. Now you tell me. How is it correct? Because you did it wrongly. Okay. Six nine six zero. Again minus three zero one eight. Is it showing three nine four two? Right. So, the same way, if you yes. use the calculator, now 2015 minus 2017, is it mean 3015 minus 3018? 3018. Is it showing minus 3? Is it currently showing minus 3? Are it currently showing minus 3 or not? I can go here. Now, 2014 minus 2017. 54 58 minus 3018. Is it showing 2440? Correct. Correct, 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 or wrong. Anything, guys, reply me here. Guys, if you're not communicating yes. here, correct, correct. If you're not responding properly, right? I'm not I'm not going to you know teach something. I'm not getting any, any interest to you know showcase that where I can you know showcase a lot of learning new things if you not respond properly. So now I understand that you know go to DD profit, right click, irritable calculation. Now we done the previous next first class. Now if we go to the first, it will go to 2014 minus 2015. 2014 minus 2016, 2014 minus 2017. Now, if we go to the next again, 2014 minus 2015, 2015 minus 2016, 2016 minus 2017, 2017 minus 2018, because I don't have data, we is not showcasing the data. Go to the previous, was it showcasing? Why is not showcasing? Tell me now, you tell me if I choose previous, why is not showcasing the in our 2014 data? Because of because, uh, because we don't have 2013 is not there, that's why. Now we understand, right? Now you should understand about the previous, previous, next, first, last. Now we understand that you know how working the table across function. Yes. Okay. So now we will stop here today again the same thing we are going to you know go with the you know next thing go to the next you know means go with the table calculations as well so tomorrow i will end up with the table calculation and the calculation part will be you know a lot of almost it will be cover the calculation part itself now next we are going to cover you know again more charts like you know um, like you know, different different charts are the grid chart, blending chart, again you no know, dual axis, blended axis. I'm going to cover that again after the covering. I'm going to co cover a so, lot of new concepts as well. So today we will wind up the meeting.
we will meet same time. So, you know, if you have any questions, please let me know. Guys, I'm audible. Yes, yes. Yes, I am not, not going to tell the you know, same thing and again and again. We are not in the uh, at the stage that you know on the second class or third class to asking and every time and you are not you know quit like that. You not know, talk with the you know kind of friendly nature where you betting a lot, you know benefited a lot. And the interaction will be more than that, then it will getting in a more interest to other learning perspective. No, Danish. Today everything okay. was clear. That's why we are okay. quiet. Okay. Everything was clear. Okay. Now we are now everybody is understanding that what we are learn. You know about the calculation part. Again, tomorrow I'm going to cover everything about calculation. Again, I will you know do some kind of uh, charts as well where I will differentiate with other charts. You can understand that. And meanwhile. You know, I will give two days for the, you know, for the, you know, dashboard itself. At the end of the dashboard is important. Now everybody is saying the dashboard, dashboard, right? Before going to create a dashboard, it's very important work on concepts. It is very easy to create a dashboard, but working on concepts, working on requirement, it's very important. If, if, if your boss of your manager, as you shared your requirement, now at that seeing the requirement, you haven't understand anything because of you're not perfect on concepts. So make sure before going to the dashboard, you work on very hard on concepts, then you understand any kind of requirement. You can easily understand and create a dashboard. OK. Now I'm going to wind up the meeting. I will stop the recording. And one more the next thing.